With Nikivo, you can always count on your data being protected, recoverable, and available anytime and anywhere. This extends to the latest version 11 release of Nikivo backup and replication. This release features new capabilities for Proxmox VE, Microsoft 365 and NAS backup, along with more security, reliability and usability features. Let's start with the all-new native support for Proxmox VE. You can now backup Proxmox VMs directly without the need for complex agent installations. You can send backups to a wide range of destinations, including local, cloud and even tape. With built-in immutability, encryption and robust custom controls, backups remain protected against ransomware and breaches wherever they reside. Recovering an entire Proxmox VM or even a single file or folder is fast and easy with just a few clicks. Let me show you how to create a Proxmox VM backup job. Go to the Data Protection Dashboard, click the plus button and click Backup for Proxmox VE. At the Source step, select the VMs you want to backup, or, if needed, all the VMs on the host. At the Destination step, choose a backup repository to store your backup. You can choose a cloud platform, such as Amazon EC2, Amazon S3, Azure Blob Storage, Backblaze B2, Wasabi, and other S3 compatible storage. You can also select a federated repository, local folder, deduplication appliance or network share as a destination. At the schedule step, configure the backup schedule and specify the duration for immutability. When configured, backups remain locked and cannot be overwritten or deleted. At the options page, configure the job options and enable backup encryption to encrypt the backup data at the source before it is transferred to the storage target. Click finish to save your changes and create the backup job. You can also create and store multiple backup copies in several repositories, including tape devices. The enhanced functionality for Microsoft 365 Backup gives you more flexibility in where to store Microsoft 365 backups. You can now backup Microsoft 365 data directly to cloud storage, S3 compatible storage, local folders, SMB and NFS shares, and to duplication appliances. Let's look at how this works by creating a new backup job in Nikivo Backup and Replication. Go to the Data Protection Dashboard, click the plus button and select Backup for Microsoft 365. On the Source page, select the items you want to backup. Remember you can backup data in Exchange Online, Microsoft Teams, OneDrive for Business and SharePoint Online. On the Destination page, select the repository where you want to store the backup data. You can choose a federated repository or a cloud platform, such as Amazon EC2, Amazon S3, Azure Blob Storage, Backblaze B2, Wasabi, and other S3 compatible storage. You can also select local folder or network share as a destination. On the schedule page, configure the backup schedule and specify the duration for immutability. In addition to immutability, to enhance security and cyber resilience, you can enable backup encryption on the options page. This way data is encrypted at the source before it is transferred to the repository. Click settings to set up a password for encrypting and decrypting your backup data. This password is required for recovery from the backup, so store it somewhere safe. You can also create several copies of Microsoft 365 backups and send them to different locations to apply the 3 2, 1 strategy. The NAS backup functionality has also seen major improvements in version 11. You can now backup directly to different local and cloud storage platforms as well as to duplication appliances. You can enable immutability for backups stored on local, cloud, S3 compatible and NetApp to duplication platforms to protect against ransomware and accidental deletions. You can also create and store backup copies in several repositories, including tape devices. Let's take a look at how to create a NAS backup job. On the Data Protection Dashboard, click the plus button, Backup for File Share. On the Source page, select the share you want to protect. Or expand the file share and select specific folders to backup. Choose a destination for your backup. You can choose the federated repository or cloud platform, such as Amazon EC2, Amazon S3, Azure Blob Storage, Backblaze B2, Wasabi, and other S3 compatible storage. You can also select local folder or network share as a destination. Set up a schedule and configure the immutability period setting for the file share backup job. Configure the backup job options, including backup data encryption and click finish. There's more to backup storage in version 11 with the federated repository feature. You no longer need to worry about a backup repository running out of space and interrupting your data protection workflows. A federated repository acts like a storage pool composed of multiple standalone backup repositories called members. 
you can expand a federated repository easily by adding new members to hold more data. If one member fails or runs out of space, the federated repository automatically switches to another member, ensuring uninterrupted backups and seamless data recovery. You can easily create a federated repository, just navigate to Settings, Repositories, and click the plus button. On the Members page, select the repositories you want to include in the federated repository. Jobs linked to the chosen repositories will be automatically switched to use the new federated repository. On the Options page, specify a name and a description for the new federated repository and click Finish. Click on the repository name to view the members within. Click on the ellipses on the top right side of the screen to add or remove repository members. The storage window shows the repository members, their capacity, and the amount of free space. The windows below display the backups in the federated repository and their relevant events. To free up space in a member repository, you can either lock it while retention policies delete old backups over time or migrate backups to other members of the federated repository. Click the ellipsis next to the required repository and select Migrate Backups. Make sure you have at least 2.5 GB of free space and confirm the migration process. You can use the federated repository feature to improve scalability by easily increasing repository capacity, to enable migration of backups between repositories and to ensure redundancy if a repository fails. For added security, version 11 introduces source-side backup encryption. You can already encrypt backup repositories and encrypt the network used to transfer data with Nikivo backup and replication. Now, you can also encrypt your data at the source, even before it's sent. When creating a backup job, at the Options step of the wizard, locate and enable backup encryption. Then click Settings to set up an encryption password. This password generates a unique encryption key that scrambles backup data at the source. You'll need this password to recover backups, whether for full recovery or to recover individual files and objects. Click Manage Passwords. Add password and fill in the necessary fields. Once done, click Add. Select the password you created and click Apply. You can enable backup encryption for various destinations, including local storage, SMB and NFS shares, cloud storage, deduplication appliances, and tape drives. You can also integrate AWS Key Management Service for password loss protection. Nikivo Backup and Replication already delivers a range of features to streamline the work of MSPs. With this release, the MSP console now features a more granular tenant overview dashboard to help MSPs save time and effort on routine monitoring and management tasks. This central hub gives service providers a complete view of all their tenants' data protection infrastructure with real-time data. You can view real-time insights and alerts on everything from jobs and repositories to node status, available resources, inventory items, and more. Navigate seamlessly between tenants and access key information without switching between multiple screens. Easily sort, filter, and search through the tenant list to extract the information you need, identify potential issues across your client base, and apply bulk actions and effectively plan tenant resource and license allocation based on their real needs and usage patterns. Version 11 has also expanded the backup from storage snapshots functionality to include NetApp FAS and AFF storage arrays. You can create backups of VMware vSphere VMs directly from storage snapshots hosted on HPE 3PAR, Nimble Storage, Primera, Aletera and now NetApp devices. Finally, our Spanish-speaking customers can use Nikivo backup and replication in their native language. Switch to Spanish with a single click on the Select Language button in the bottom right corner. With the latest version of Nikivo Backup and Replication, protecting your data becomes a seamless part of your workflow, with effortless administration, robust protection, and versatile recovery. Download your free trial of Nikivo Backup and Replication V11 and try the latest functionality in your environment.